Hey, it's Ross Newton from CropPer.com, and today we're gonna show you how to get up and running with CropPer trivia in just five minutes. So we're logged into uh, the app.crowdper.com and we're just gonna go to create experience, which you see we have trivia, bingo, polls, social walls. We're gonna go to create under countdown trivia and you'll see our trivia library opens. This is a 100% original trivia database that we update every single week with fresh games, cool topics, cool questions. And we're gonna scroll down to name that movie gifts and we're going to add that and you can mix and match games and questions and get into all that but we're just going to skip over that for now and by default we set up crowd per trivia with some default settings that are really great so we're just going to leave this on host control mode and that means we're going to drive the game it's not going to run automatically or anything and our name and description are fine that's going to create our experience dashboard this is where you control your trivia game it shows all the questions that were added in our library game there's some advanced settings here you can uh, configure leads that you want to capture from from your players but for now we're going to skip over that and open up what's called the projector view this is a view a presentation view of your trivia game that you can share in a virtual meeting and zoom or youtube live or if you're actually in a physical in-person event or a hybrid event you would actually project this in front of your crowd at your event this has the qr code that your crowd's going to scan to join the game and they can also just type in the url manually here at the bottom so the second thing we're going to open is something called the mobile view this is is what your crowd sees when they scan that QR code or enter that URL. It's going to take them to their to your trivia game and ask them for a nickname. And like I said, you can collect emails or additional things, but for this five minute demo, we're just going to go with the nickname. So we're now ready to start our game. And this this the mobile view here is what everybody would see on their device. So if I press the timer button up here, we're going to get a 10 second countdown, which is going to mirror on our presentation view, the projector view, and the mobile view, and that's going to kick off the trivia game. And because we're in host control mode, it will start the first question automatically. And you see that it's got a timer here from which Humphrey Bogart film is this classic scene? We'll answer correctly, Casablanca. And we have 53 points there. And now on our, on our dashboard, we have something called viewer controls. These are views you can highlight after the question is finished to show your crowd what happened during the question. So we're gonna head, go ahead and press show live answer results. And we can see that one vote came in for Casablanca. We'll do show correct answer. That shows your crowd the correct answer and whether they got it wrong or right. And then we can do show rankings leaderboard. And that shows the the current players and what kind of points they got. And at that point, we can nothing's gonna happen here until we go to the next question. And we can turn these views off and on. They're basically view layers. And we can see that these views are also mirrored on the projector view. And they're completely keyboard shortcut enabled. So I can press A or C to turn off the correct answer. And I can also use the arrow keys to go to the next question. So we're gonna jump over to the next, this next question. But before we do that, let's add a couple of extra players here. So I'm gonna copy this uh, crowd URL here and just bring up a couple extra browsers and join a few more players into this game so we can see what the rankings really look like. And we're gonna call this one Firefox because we're in the Firefox browser. And so these are just additional players that we can bring up just for testing purposes. And you're gonna, it's gonna show them that they have the current question wrong because they, they're joining a little late. If everybody had started in the beginning, they would all have a fair chance. So now that we're all signed in, let's jump to the next question here by clicking arrow over. And we're gonna see the Joker shown in this GIF appears in what film from the Batman franchise? So we'll just do a couple different answers here and we'll cast a vote on these guys as well. And now all the votes are in and on our dashboard, we can see that there were five total answers for this question and our question uh, view uh, appears to update there. So now we'll show the live answer results and we can see the different mix of answers that came in over here to the right and we'll show the correct answer and we can see it was the dark night. And now when we show the rankings, we'll have a few more players on there. So now we can see that Ross is in the lead, followed by Edge, Safari and Firefox. And at this point, we can keep going through the questions. And there's some additional options such as question timings and all that kind of stuff that you can get into. But let's say we just wanna go ahead and finish the game. So I'll press stop there and we can see that it shows game finished and Ross won and each player is gonna see how many points they earned in this game. And we can see that Ross won here and that's how you do a trivia game. We can stop the trivia game and do a reset and clear away all the crowd responses and you can practice this game all over again. So you, once you sign up for CrowdPer, 
you can practice any of your trivia games as many times as you want. Simply reset them and press the timer and start again. That was a five minute, super fast introduction to trivia, crowd per trivia to get you up and running. If you want more details, check out our crowd per full walkthrough that's linked here. And thanks so much for checking us out today.